Hey everyone, this is Mary Beth McGandrews from Dread Central, and I am here today with Fabrice DeVels, director of Calvaire, or The Ordeal. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. So this is a movie that shaped me as a younger horror person. I loved this kind of era of like horror movie, and so when your film was very influential on a, a younger me, so thank you um, first, but... My um my first question for you is kind of like, can you tell our listeners and viewers a little bit about what the film is? And it was released in 2006. So just a little bit of a reminder for people who might not be familiar. Well, I shot that movie in 2003. So oh, wow. it's been a long, long time. Uh, I'm very excited that the film has uh, uh, remastered and being able to be to hit theater um, in 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 the states, um, but it's been a long time ago. I have to say so. Uh, it's it's about it's about um, a very peculiar singer who get lost in in the woods, <laughs> and it seems to play with very familiar elements of uh, horror elements, but in a very twisted and and funny way, I think, yeah. Oh yeah. And so when you were when you were shooting this, obviously like the, the phrase new French extremity came out a little bit after your film was shot. Did you ever like, were you reacting to any, like if you see, you know, these this movement of like violent films from from Europe, did like were you thinking at all, at all about that when you were making your movie, or that you just kind of you were like, oh, I guess I am part of this after the film kind of was released and received? No, I never thought about that because uh, in Europe, uh, you know, we never we never that idea that there is a movement of uh, French. Yeah, uh, that's something that uh, American invents. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm close friend to all of all of the French extreme, as you said, the uh, film director. Yeah. But we never had the feeling to oh, to to be part of a movement. Maybe the, um, the the intersection about all of us is uh, our love uh, for um, a typical American genre of cinema back from 50s to 70s or yeah. 80s too so we play with those elements but uh i always think that it's a journalist invention you know that french extremist movement it's <laughs> it's, it's um and you know when i met calvert in 2003 um you know in europe especially in france belgium that kind of film was completely, completely um, avoid. It was yeah. very difficult to finance those films. Gaspar Noé made uh, Irreversible one year, two years before, but it was a completely, uh, it's not exactly horror, you know, it didn't play with the horror element, just uh, Alexandra yeah. in, in high tension or, or I or others play with the horror genre and and uh, exploitation genre uh, just mm. but we well we had that urge to make some films to express ourselves in a very and to to make kind of a tribute to homage to the to the to the film that we we we, we used to love so much amazing so then what kind of horror movies did you love growing up it sounds like you were a horror fan or grew up a horror fan uh, I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a huge cinephile, you know, I can, uh, and I and my love for cinema, it's very wide. I can love Jess Franco and I can love Ozu, Nakuse, or, you know, I'm, yeah. I love, I love many, many different genres, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. strictly um, uh, influenced by the horror genre. Uh, horror yeah. genre is my first love, you know. Uh, if I may say, uh, I grew up watching horror film as a teenager, and I was always um, electrified about the the genre. Today, I'm a little bit, I'm, uh, I have to say, I'm a little bit more disappointed about the genre because I think the genre. Oh really? Is, yeah. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but who cares? You know, it's sometimes. Oh, no. Sometimes a little bit too. 
you know, uh, politically correct. I think the genre at the time was much more, seems to be a little bit more um, um, not politically correct. You know, it's, there is something, but maybe I'm wrong once again, you know, it's uh, it's just a feeling, but today yeah. there, is, there is, there is a, there is something great about, uh, uh, about a female director who made, uh, who made horror. And I think that's a great thing to, to, it's another another understanding about the genre with a with another perspective and that's that thing I think it's a it's very interesting uh to have that um that um that rising about uh, yeah with the genre yeah yeah well and I mean you mentioned I think that like something that your film and I think a lot of films like that are talked about within like the new French extremity slash I think earlier are a little bit they're not as if you're not afraid of taboos or like showing taboos on screen and I think that's something that I really love about these kinds of movies because I think I think there is in horror there's a space for breaking taboos the extreme violence things that might be off-putting to people and I wanted to hear more about like kind of your perspective on that and I know it's been a while since making Calvaire but Kind of your I think your thoughts behind portraying extreme violence on screen and portraying breaking taboos and like why you think in in your film like why you wanted to do that because I I do think it's important for horror films to do that and to challenge. Yeah, we, of course. Once again, you know, I grew up watching films and film for me means trans transgression. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I always love to see the spec the, the 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 spectacle or the 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 the, the, the theater of cruelty you know i, I always yeah. enjoy to see, to see um to see that that kind of story as a teenager and 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 as a as a, as a man i have to say but um, in my in in my work my own work i try to i try to find the the right balance between the subject mm. and, and 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 the the the, the vision of the the the, the subject yeah. I, uh, I'm, I I don't want to be, I, I, but I think it's very personal to find the right balance between how you express violence. Are you, yeah. you know, in all my film, I try to reach, I try to reach a kind of transcendence, you know, but I think that transcendence, uh, you know, will, will, will come with transgression. So, and, mm. and I think for a lot of film director is the same thing that's, in a completely different genre, but I have friends who makes very, very, very uh, violent film, and and they try to uh, reach a, a kind of a, a, another level of 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 transcendence. You know, uh, just like uh, Martyr, for example, is a completely different. Uh, th that's a movie that I would be unable to make, but I I, I can I can um, I can make the link. You know, between violence and subject. You know, it's always the the manner you treat the subject of your film that seems. Yeah. I, I don't want to make you know a movie full of violence because I love violence. I think it's silly. Uh, who cares? I can do that, but as a teenager. But now I'm a grown yeah. man. I'm, I'm fifty, so you know, I try to, uh, I try to articulate my thought a little bit in in a, in, a, in another way. Uh, I try. I yeah. Think. I didn't say I succeed, but I try. <laughs> I, 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 what I say is, is um, for me, the, the most important thing is the subject and how you you go through the subject and, and, yeah. and find the right balance between transgression and your goals. Yeah. Well, then that leads me back to Calvair, and I wanted to hear more about kind of where that idea sprung for you for this film. I know you talked about, you know, you've watched horror films and, and horror films influenced you, but wanted to hear a little bit more about the ideation process around that film specifically. Well, you know, at the time, I think I I, I made a short film and I was uh, I was on my way to make my first feature and I was uh, desperately uh, trying to find, uh, to find a subject. Mm. And, uh, we had that idea to to make a kind of um, you know one of my major influence in life in general uh, is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That film changed my life, changed my life in a very um, um, in a very different manners because you have uh, yeah. the dramatic aspect of the film which is really really striking, but you have also the 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 um, poetical 
aspect of the film, the political aspect of, of the film, the commercial aspect of the film. You know, that film is very impressive with all the different layers and aspect of, of, of. so when I received that film, I say, oh my God, uh, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to make film and put the audience in that shape, in that position, in that, in that ambiguity, in that, um, in, in that uh, known comfort zone. Yeah. Um, my films are in general, I'm not very comfortable and, you know, people is most of the time in a very commercial way, especially today, people goes to the film to to the cinema to be in a very comfort zone. <laughs> so, once again, the vocation, the lights come from Toby Hooper, and of course, I have different life, different light. But Toby yeah. Hooper was was a very strong uh, source of, of of inspiration, especially especially that film. So we we tried to find a subject, and we had that idea to have a, a you know a young man who was a singer and um, kind of you know funny funny singer, who, but very intense and very loony and very in his mind, yeah. you know, and and to 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 face another man and and the other man recognize him the, the singer as his disappeared wife and and then we try to build and articulate a kind of a a comedy in a way a very black comedy yeah. uh, because i always thought that calvary is a funny film uh, very in a very black yeah. um yeah gray zone but it's it's funny. Uh, we 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 try to make something between, at the time, huh, between Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Life of Brian, in a way, in a very, in a, in a very, is playing with uh, all the religious. Uh, yeah. Symbols. Wow. I was raised uh, in boarding school when I was a kid, so I, I had to face a lot of, um, and it's my, it's it's on it's on me. I, you know, I. I'm very obsessed with all the imagery of uh, religion and especially Catholic. Oh, so yep. so okay. play yeah. with this thought. And also during the financing uh, process of the film, I, I it was a long, a long process, uh, almost five mm -hmm. years you know, to finance the film. I, I made a very, very important uh, discovery uh, in, 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 uh, in cinema. It was uh, Louis Bunuel. And Louis Buñuel resonates in a very, very deep way for me because uh, uh, it's absurd, uh, it's it's poetical, it's politic, and and it's uh, it's um, it plays and distorts all the religion symptoms, uh, not symptoms, um, uh, symbols, symbols. Sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, I love Louis Buñuel, and I think that he makes. I've gotten into arguments with people and he makes horror movies, but I think everything is horror. So <laughs> that's, that's incredible. And so you've talked about like cinema now, but do you have any films that you've seen within the past like decade or so that have really surprised or shocked you? Well, uh, um, there is a lot of them that I, I I I go see a little, a little bit of practically everything, but I yeah. find right now. Um, sorry, but um, oh no worries. I feel I sometimes the question I, is just I, like I forget I, every movie. <laughs> yeah, there is great great films every year, um, in a very different perspective, continents and and genre. Yeah. Yeah. So. Then what would you say to people who are experiencing your film for the first time that it's coming to theaters and, you know, maybe people are rediscovering it? What would you say to people who are rediscovering Calvair now in 2023? It's fun. It's a funny movie. I, I think it's, uh, I would, you know, I would, because now, now the film has a, has reached a kind of a, a small status, you know, it's, um, yeah. You, you, but back at the at the time, the film was very divided. The press was not good. Uh, the 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 at the chief at the midnight madness. I remember, you know, the half the the, the half of the of the audience left. Um, some still still there were some people who didn't don't like the film, but it's you know. But with the time, I don't know why the the film 
at you know that yeah there is something about it and uh, maybe it's the time for the film i don't know maybe it's the time maybe uh i talked to uh to some you know journalist and i talked to a, a lady from rue morgue and and that lady said uh, said to me that's something that i've never imagined she said to me that um the film is uh is it's it's was before its time because um, now talking about male toxicity and you know and I never yeah. thought about that and yeah maybe maybe it is maybe it doesn't you know I, I, I mostly I don't care you know it's not the point of the film but maybe it's this time but I think the most the most important thing for me it's um, I think if if you are, if you love twisted in genre and and very out of the box film i think it's a very funny film it could be a funny film it's not perfect of course but it's at least it's it's entertaining and funny and not the way you used to have uh, you you used to, to, to have that kind of film you know it's uh, yeah awesome well fabrice thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me about movies and calvert this has been incredible